Hello my dear students, the question now appearing on your screen is exercise question 3.5. The question is write the nourished equation and EMF of the following cells at 298 Kelvin. The reactions are written on the board, these four reactions are given here. So let's start solving this question. So for the first part. Nurse equation E cell equal to E naught cell minus zero point zero five nine one upon N log Here anode is mg, so mg2 plus upon cathode is copper Cu2 plus concentration. Now E0 cell, so E0 cell value of this cell will be 0.34 which is standard electrode potential of copper electrode minus minus of 0 point or uh, minus of 2.37 this is the standard electrode potential of magnesium minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 log mg2 plus concentration upon cu2 plus concentration so this will come as 2.71 minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 log these concentrations are 0 0.001 upon 0 0.0001 on solving this we will be getting as log 10 and value of log 10 is 1 so 2.71 minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 log 10 so this can be written as 2.71 minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 now E cell equal to 2.71 minus 0 0.0295 so this will come as 2.68 volt so this is the answer to the first part next we will be solving for the second part now Nurse equation for the second part. So, this can be written as E cell equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon N log Fe2 plus concentration upon H plus concentration square because the stoichiometric coefficient of H plus in balanced redox reaction will be 2. Now, E naught cell that is E naught cathode minus E naught anode and cathode is here hydrogen electrode. So, standard electrode potential of this electrode is 
जीरो माइनस माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर फोर विच इज स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल ऑफ आयरन इलेक्ट्रोड माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन अपॉन टू इंटू लॉग जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन अपॉन वन स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी कैन राइट इट एज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फोर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन अपॉन टू इंटू लॉग टेन रेज टू दावर माइनस थ्री अगेन वी कैन राइट इट एज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फोर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन अपॉन टू इंटू माइनस थ्री On solving this, we'll get value of E cell as zero point five three volt. So, this will be the answer to second part of this question. Next, we'll be solving for the third part. Now, Nash equation for the third part. So, again, we can write Nash equation as E cell equal to E not cell minus zero point zero five nine one upon n log S n two plus concentration divided by H plus concentration square. Now putting the values. E not cell. So again. E not cathode is zero minus minus of zero point one four. This is the reduction potential for tin. The standard reduction potential minus zero point zero five nine one upon two. S n two plus concentration is. Zero point zero five log zero point zero five upon zero point zero two square. Now this can be written as zero point one four minus zero point zero five nine one upon Two log five upon four into ten raised to the power two. On solving this, we'll get as zero point one four minus zero point. Zero five nine one upon two into two point zero nine seven, and the value of E cell we will get as zero point zero eight volt. So this will be the answer to the question. so this is the answer to third part and next we will be solving for the fourth part of the question now we will be writing for the fourth part the nash equation again e cell equal to e not cell minus 0.0591 upon n log b r minus concentration square upon h plus concentration square now putting the values so e not cell is e not cathode minus e not anode and e not cathode is zero 
as standard reduction potential of hydrogen electrode is 0 minus 1.09 this is standard reduction potential for bromine minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 log 0 0.01 square upon 0 0.03 square this is 0 0.1 and this will be 0 0.3 now minus 1.09 minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 log 1 upon 9 minus 1.09 minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 value of log 1 upon 9 is minus 0 0.954 now minus 1.09 minus on solving this we will get as 0 0.028 so here E cell will be equal to minus 1.118 volt so this will be the answer to the fourth part of the question 3.5